All right, so in this first video, we're just going to go through installing Pseudo Effect Maker. And one thing to know is that it's not a script. It's actually an extension for After Effects, and a lot of people get that confused. You don't put this file into the script UI folder or anything like that. It's not a plugin. It doesn't go in the plugin folder. It's an extension. It needs to be installed a little bit differently. And the easiest way is to use some sort of installer. I would recommend the ZXP installer from AE Scripts. If you go to their website, slash learn slash ZXP installer, you'll see free downloads for both Mac and Windows computers. Once you have it installed, you'll see something like this. It might show any extensions that you already have installed. And then all you want to do is grab that ZXP file from your download. Depending on how you have everything set up, you might not see that ZXP extension, but you can see it's the Adobe ZXP extension file type. And all you have to do is click and drag that right onto the ZXP installer. It'll tell you you're about to install it for After Effects. It'll go through and install it. Depending on how you have things set up, you might get a pop-up about a security warning. You just have to hit OK. And now you can see that it's installed for all these different versions of After Effects. And it'll list those same versions right here. And the Pseudo Effect Maker is compatible with all versions from 2020 all the way back to CC 2014. So once you have it installed, you'll have to restart After Effects. And then once it's installed, uh, it'll be in the window menu, but it won't be at the bottom of the window menu like script UI panels are. There's this extensions option right here, and then you'll see Pseudo Effect Maker right there as one of these options. When you click that, Pseudo Effect Maker will start up, and you'll be all set to go.